Hi everyone, Matteo here. Welcome back in my RC garage. Today I'm going to show you something about my batteries and how I handle and charge them. As you can see I have a lot of different batteries. Most are LiPos, but also a few nickel metal hybrids. I have two cell LiPos up to six cells. The larger ones are mostly used in my planes, the smaller ones in cars and boats. As you may know, LiPo batteries require careful handling, otherwise they will be damaged very quickly, and in the worst case they can explode and burn down your whole house. The most important thing is that you use a good charger specified for LiPos, and all the settings on it must be matched to the battery you are using. Second, never charge a LiPo battery unattended. I do not charge a battery when I leave the house. This for safety reasons. Third, LiPo cells need to be balanced. I do always use the balanced charge. Fourth, put the battery into storage mode when you do not use the battery for a long time. In this mode, the battery is charged to about 50% of its capacity. Storing a fully charged LiPo battery for a long time will damage it. Fifth, never run a battery completely empty. There should always be a rest voltage of 3 volts per cell, otherwise the battery can be destroyed immediately. LiPo compatible controllers stop the model automatically to avoid too much discharge. If you carefully follow these rules, LiPos will last long time and provide exceptional performance. Now I have here a new charger from GT Power. It is a dual charger, which means that two different batteries can be charged at the same time. It can be operated with AC or DC, for example from your car battery with 12 volts. And it has a maximum power of 400 watts, which is pretty good. 2 times 200 watts in DC mode and split 200 watts in AC mode. Here is the power cable. And this is the charger with the display and the set buttons. On the front the connectors for the batteries and balancing cables. And at the rear the ventilator, the power connectors and USB ports. Also a user manual is included. Everything is well explained in English. These rubber mats can be placed from below to get a better view of the screen. After connecting the power plug, the charger goes into standby mode and battery not connected is indicated. Here in the front are the connectors for the battery. These are XT60 connectors built right into the charger. Fortunately, most of my batteries are equipped with XC60 connectors, so I can connect them directly to the charger. As an example here, a 3 cell LiPo with 4000 mA capacity. Also the balancing cable can be directly connected, no additional board is needed. Now you can see the voltage and charging status of each cell is indicated directly. By pressing this rotary switch I can enter the settings menu. Turn it to reach all the settings. First the battery type. Choose the correct one for me mainly LiPo. Select mode is to choose what the charger should do when it starts. Balance charge, charge, fast charge, discharge or storage. As I explained in the beginning, 
Most important for me are balance, charge and storage. I set it now to balance charge to charge the battery. Next is the cell voltage. 4.2 is the standard value for LiPos. Next is cell count. How much cells have your battery? The charger choose here automatically the correct setting. Current setting means how much current the charger uses to charge the battery. I usually charge at 1C. So for my 4000 mA battery, I set the current to 4 amps. And now, when I press start mode, the charging process begins. And now the screen shows the actual current and how much is already charged. And on the top you can see a graph that shows the percentage of the charging process. When I turn the knob, more infos are displayed. Here the actual internal resistance of each cell. And here more parameters, even the temperature. But now let's connect the second battery. This one is a 2 cell LiPo with Tamiya connector. This cannot be directly connected to the charger. So I need this adapter cable with 4 mm connectors. So I can connect all of my standard charging cables. Here the Tamiya plug cable. And the charger shows the two cells on the screen. So here also I do all the settings for this battery and start the charging process. With the right button I can switch through the parameters of the right battery and with the left button those of the left battery. Now I have activated battery storage on the left side. And if I wait a few seconds, the screen splits and shows both battery parameters on one screen. In standby mode I can hold the button for a few seconds, then the charger goes into the system settings. A few things are adjustable, most important in my opinion is the language. A few main languages are selectable. So for me this is a very good charger, easy to program and with enough battery info to charge and maintain different batteries in a simple and safe way. I hope you like this information, if so please give me a thumbs up for this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.